Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have recently been caught up in Joe Rogan's Spotify drama. In 2020, the royal couple signed a $25 million deal with Spotify. Recently, though, they expressed concern that COVID misinformation is being spread on the streaming service provider by Joe Rogan's podcast. Despite the Sussexes' concerns, it looks like they are going to stay with the company, as reported by The Mirror. Royal expert Richard Eden told the Daily Mail, "...between the principles and money, it's always a question of which will they go for, and it seems they've gone for the money." Now talk show host Tucker Carlson has some bold thoughts on the situation and on the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. The other day, that annoying fake Duchess from LA and her brain-dead husband threatened to walk if Spotify refused to muzzle Joe Rogan. After sharing a statement from Prince Harry and Markle about the serious harms of rampant mis- and disinformation, Tucker continued, "...they're not going anywhere. These two grifters have a $25 million podcast deal with Spotify for essentially no work. So far, we believe they have produced just over 30 minutes of content. That means these two have been paid about a million dollars for each minute of talking they've done. That's a good gig. It's too good to leave." Similarly, on Fox News Channel's show The Five, host Greg Gutfield called the Duke and Duchess of Sussex a bunch of deadbeats, while retired New York judge Janine Pirro called them pathetic and irrelevant. According to Archwell, the royal couple's nonprofit, Archwell Audio is the audio-first production company started by Harry and Meghan. It has an exclusive partnership with Spotify in order to produce podcasts and shows that build community through shared experiences, powerful narratives, and universal values. Fans turned to Twitter to call out Tucker Carlson's harsh comments on Meghan Markle and Prince Harry. In a February 4th tweet, the Democratic coalition called Carlson's attack a ploy to continue spreading misinformation on the coronavirus, writing, "...nothing angers Tucker more than people who try to stop COVID misinformation, because that's how he makes a living." In response to the original tweet, another user questioned the validity of the Fox News host's platform, writing, "...maybe it's a little late in the game to ask." But what qualifications does he have that mean his opinion should be respected? Carlson has been accused of spreading misinformation about the COVID-19 vaccine in the past. During an appearance on CNN's program New Day, Katie Lane attributed her father's death from COVID-19 in 2021 to Carlson's vaccine coverage on Fox News. She explained, "...he watched some Tucker Carlson videos on YouTube, and some of those videos involved some misinformation about vaccines, and I believe that that played a role." She expressed her belief that her father was a victim of misinformation. This isn't the first time Tucker Carlson has voiced his opinion about the former royal couple. After their explosive interview with Oprah Winfrey dropped, detailing their experience with the royal family, Carlson immediately dismissed their concerns in an opinion piece for Fox News. He first called out the widespread news coverage of the interview and other outlets' favorable views on Meghan Markle and Prince Harry, before deeming it irrelevant to American issues. The Fox News host argued, "...it's not like Prince whatever his name is and his angry wife from Los Angeles are compelling. You know exactly who they are. He's weak and unhappy. She's a manipulative opportunist. So who do you root for in this? How about nobody?" Carlson didn't hold back in his written piece. The conservative commentator focused on a revealing moment during the Oprah interview where Meghan claimed that sister-in-law Kate Middleton made her cry, and refuted earlier rumors stating the opposite. A few days before the wedding, she was upset about something pertaining to, yes, the issue was correct, about flower girl dresses. It made me cry. Carlson called the event petty and trivial, before asserting that the Duchess of Sussex is entitled, writing, "...despite the fact that she's literally a princess, sorry, Duchess, she is actually an oppressed victim. A rational person might consider this claim absurd, but amazingly, no one else seems to think it is." Carlson also accused Markle of using her fame and status to draw sympathy from fans, writing, "...that poor Duchess, you think to yourself, I hope she's okay. Of course, she should be thinking that very thing about you, but she's not." Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.